So you'll see a lot of opinions that Python is the most popular programming language nowadays. I don't think anyone has the data to make that assessment. Now, I'm not saying it's not. Oh, uh, let me, I'm going to riff on this one because don't let the, you're going to hear a whole bunch of people giving you, in my opinion, bad advice on this. Okay, uh, let's, this is an important one. So Nikhil asks, um, which is the best language for beginners? So um, there are people on YouTube who love to take advantage of beginners. Um, and generally speaking, what they'll do is they will tell you that the most popular programming language um, is the best choice. Um, in my opinion, because I don't have anything to sell to you and I'm not going to try and give you a clickbait answer, this is probably the third thing you should care about. So um, there's a number of things you want to figure out. So first off, n there is no single answer to this question. It depends on the student. So this is really important. Um, basically, I will just flat out tell you, if you run across a video and someone sells, says, this is the best language for all purposes, that person is selling you a line of bullshit. Now, why? Number one, what? So here's how I suggest you think about choosing a language. What hardware do you have? So this is the first thing I want you to think about. Do you have um, a powerful computer? Do you have a weak computer? Uh, do you have per uh, not peripherals, um, mobile devices like uh, iOS or Android. Um, what operating system do you have? So are you a Mac person? Are you uh, Windows? Are you Linux? Um, so the first thing I suggest you look at, think critically about your hardware because this will narrow down your options. Um, now, over time, most languages are more and more supporting other platforms and stuff like that. But this is the first thing I suggest you consider. The second thing I suggest you consider is what are you personally interested in? So if you are a beginner here and you're asking yourself, what, what is the best language for beginners? I want to ask you, what application do you want to build? So let me give you a personal um, anecdote. Um, in 2014, I knew that I wanted to do either iOS or Android development. And the reason why is that I had a phone of some kind and I was really into exercising. I still am. So anyway, sorry. Um, so I thought to myself, I want to build a workout logging program um, that I can use on my phone. Now, that's a really important point. When you're a beginner, you want to follow, and this will be true throughout your career, a project-based learning approach. Think of a project you want to build and you build it. This will do several things. Um, as you are probably aware, computer science and programming, there are too many topics to study. There's too many things to learn. So when you pick a specific project, you will focus your learning on a set of topics to do with solving the problem of building the program you want to build. It will help you decide what language you want to use. Um, it'll get you writing code really quickly instead of just spending a whole bunch of time reading articles and watching videos. You will have to write some code. So um, I suggest you think of a project you want to build a really great, very basic project, and I do this every time I learn a new programming language. And I've at this point learned about six or seven. Um, that surprises even me, because when I first started learning programming, I, th I was surprised to be even be able to learn one language. But after do doing this for nearly a decade, you will just start to accidentally pick up new programming languages. 
So um, a calculator is a great simple app to build. Um, it'll teach you the basics of user interaction because the user has to input the numbers and it'll teach you the basics of like uh, some solving problem and you know mathematics is easy so build a simple calculator if you're kind of stuck if you're not sure what to build. Um, so yeah follow personal interest and really important here I said this at the beginning of the show uh, learning is directly tied to interest your faculty of interest motivation is directly tied to interest these things go hand in hand now the third thing you should care about is what economically makes sense now these people who do these annoying videos that piss me off um, where their entire uh, value system for picking a language is based on generally speaking incomplete data uh, about what is the most popular programming language which you know it's it just drives me insane um, what economically makes sense so the only aspect of popularity that I would look at within reason is um, if you have a company or um, several companies that you want to get hired uh, by then look at the languages they use um, look at their job postings so um, as far as metrics based on you know stack overflow opinion polls and some meta-analyses of um, public repositories on github and bitbucket um, those are not an accurate reflection of the most commonly used programming languages and the main reason why is that the majority of code is still propri proprietary it's private and I would hazard a guess that the majority of that code is actually still written in languages like C++ Java and probably PHP to be honest so you'll see a lot of opinions that Python is the most popular programming language nowadays I don't think anyone has the data to make that assessment now I'm not saying it's not what I'm saying is nobody knows we don't have the data so I hope that was useful these are the things I would look at um, and I'm not going to tell you to learn a specific language because if I did then I would just become one of those annoying people that I don't like <laughs>